Happy Diwali! I'll bet by the time this video is live, Diwali will be over. But better late than never, I haven't had the pleasure of celebrating Diwali before. Hopefully, next Diwali, I'll be able to celebrate and enjoy some delicious food. Like any good celebration, there are sweets. I have enjoyed many, many, many sweets, but Indian sweets have never passed these lips. That changes today. I have a box of Indian sweets right here, so let's begin this taste test. There was quite a variety of sweets to choose from, so I just said, give me a variety. First look. Hmm. Not as bright and colorful as I was hoping. Considering the last sweets video I did was the Krispy Kreme Halloween Donuts video, these are lacking in the fun factor. I have a feeling these will be better tasting than the donuts, though. So I asked for a variety. It looks like I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different kinds. These two look to be the only duplicates. So quite a variety of sweets. Unfortunately, I don't know what any of these are called, but if I figure it out, I'll put the name on the bottom of the screen. Here's all the sweets. I have 14 in front of me. I think these two are the same, but it's quite a size difference, so maybe they're different. They look the same though. I don't know what to expect here. I have no idea what the flavors are gonna be. You know, you think of desserts, chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, icing sugar. These don't have any of that. So I don't know what to expect. This is really exciting for me, actually. Where do I start? Some of these are quite large, so I'm gonna cut pieces. And some of them might even have something inside of it. Like for example, let's start with this one. It's heavy. Feels like it might be drenched in something. Let's cut it open. Nope, nothing inside of it. Looks like a, looks like a cake. I'm gonna cut a piece off. Kind of feels like a sponge cake that's being uh, drenched in some kind of liquid. Happy Diwali. It's very liquidy. It's definitely been soaking in something. Mm. Mm. I thought I recognized that flavor for a second. I don't know what that syrup or sauce is. Very delicious though. I enjoyed that one. Almost had a bit of a, almost caramel flavor to it. That was very good. As I eat them, I think I'll remove them from the tray. I've tried that one. Let's go to this one right here. Kind of like a, a Rice Krispie square shape. Maybe coconut? A little piece off. Again, kind of like cake, just soaked in something. No real smell. Very similar to the other one. I wonder if it's soaking in the same syrup or sauce. Almost had a bit of a cheesecake taste to it, like a vanilla cheesecake. That was another big thumbs up for that one. Very good. Move that one to the side. Let's go with this one. Let's see anything inside of it? Nope, but soaked in something. These are very, very dense. They're very weighty. It's very different. A little fruity for that one. I was gonna say orange, maybe. Like a subtle orange flavor. I'm hoping after I do this video, I'll be able to figure out what these are and put the names on the bottom. But if you know, put in the comments section what the heck I'm eating. Very tasty so far though. And this is why I enjoy eating foods from other cultures 
and other places around the world because as I was saying about chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, those are the flavors for desserts that I grew up with and I know, but these are just as good. So I'm very happy that I get to try these. And the great thing is, although I want to go to India, I don't have to go to India to try these. Let's go with this one here. It's a very interesting, like a flower design on the front. That's cool. Let's do a little cut. Mm, same, nothing inside of it. Mm. What's that smell? It's not chocolate. Oh, that one's very different. Ooh. Oh, I like that one a lot. It's almost got like a, a coffee taste to it. Ooh, that's a good one. That's my favorite so far. Let's go with this one. This kind of looks like a cream filled donut. Let's see if there's anything inside of it. Come here. Mm, nope. Nothing inside. Let's try the flavor. It's got like, is that powdered? I don't think it's powdered sugar. Maybe. Hmm. That one was okay. Not my favorite though. Almost had a bit of a cheese taste to it. I'm not a huge fan of cheese. Didn't hate it, but didn't love it. Let's go with this one. It's got nuts on top. It's like almonds. Got a piece of it. That was very tasty as well. So many different flavors. I can't compare the flavor to anything. Take another piece of that one. They melt in your mouth. These are so moist. I think I taste the almonds in this one. I mean, makes sense. It's covered in almonds. Must be like an almond syrup or almond paste in that one. Let's go with this one. Kind of looks like a Timbit. Giant Timbit. Very, very moist. Very crumbly. Oh. It's like uh, something a bit crunchy in there. Maybe raisins? Or what is that? Something there. Maybe a nut? Again, very delicious. I know I'm not being very descriptive or because I don't recognize the flavor. But again, that's why you try from different cultures. You get to explore and your mind gets aw awoken with new flavors. That one didn't taste like anything. That one had no flavor at all. I don't know what this is. It had no flavor. It's syrupy, but no flavor to it. Let's go with this. Kind of, kind of looks like a cookie. What if that's pistachio or something in the middle. Kind of looks like a mini hamburger. My mouth might be a bit too sugar coated because that doesn't really taste like much either. Gotta get some water. Well, now that I've had some water, let's try this one again. Let's see if I notice any flavor. All of these seem to be drenched or soaked in the syrup. 
and I taste it now. There's a certain flavor that seems to carry over through a bunch of them, and it might be that syrup. Some of them have other flavors that are more powerful than that syrup flavor, and that, and that kind of overcomes the flavor of the syrup. But then the others are just taste like the kind of like the syrup. It's not bad taste, but I think the ones that, that have more flavor than the syrup are better. We're batting 100, though. Well, now we're pretty much batting 100, maybe 95%. They've all been good, though. Let's go with this one. The funny thing is, when I asked them for a variety, they gave me, what, I think I said 14 or 15? Meanwhile, there was a lot more desserts on display. So I probably could have got 30 different kinds. That kind of reminds me of the, one of the other ones. A little bit cheesy flavor. Not my favorite. I hope these keep all right because I'm not going to eat the whole piece tonight. And don't worry, I am going to be sharing these with other people. Let's open this one. Okay, this one has uh, the insides kind of like that. Looks very similar to the round one that we had a couple, a couple desserts ago. Presuming it's probably got the same flavors, just maybe a different shape. Mm. Yeah, I like this one a lot. It's better than the round version. Whatever that is inside this brown stuff, it gives it an extra hit of flavor. Get the flavor from the outside and then you get the inside and it's a different flavor it tastes really good I like that one a lot let's go back to this orange one see if it's the same as the bigger version looks the same yeah yeah it definitely tastes the same and it just reminds me as I've been going along, how the flavors have been changing. Some of them are the same, but then my mouth got reawoken when I had this one. It's a different flavor. Again, it might be because the whatever other flavor ha it has in it is overwhelming that syrup flavor. So that's a really good one. It's interesting because the previous sweets video I did before this was Krispy Kreme. And although those were, you know, delicious, it was overwhelmingly sweet, overwhelmingly one note. There was a few, there was the cake batter and there was some cream and some chocolate that were unique flavors, but really it was just overly sugary. These have some similarities. What I mean by that is the syrup. The sweet syrup is kind of like the sugar in a donut it's the commonality between the two. And then beyond the sweetness, there's those other subtle flavors. I don't know if I was trying to make a point there, but. Oh, this one has something inside of it. Is that a, I don't know what that is. I'll cut it a bigger piece. It's got a huge something or other in it. Let's see what this is. It's almost like a little round cheesecake inside of it. That one's actually really, really good. Some big hits in these desserts. I wonder when I asked for variety if he just gave me the, the most popular desserts, most popular sweets. I was worried that he might just give me the ones that never sell. But these are all delicious. Okay, this one's very interesting. This one's very colorful. It's the only one that really has a lot of color in it. It's got some green and some red. I mean, green and red, I think, 
than Christmas, but I mean, do all these festival of lights, isn't it? Mm. That's another good one. I want to say raisin, but I don't think that's it. These Indian sweets have been very, very delicious. And if you like Indian food, check out this video of me trying Indian Faluda for the first time. I'll see you on the next one.